you are going to see now a demo where we are going to describe the building of a model for Abacus to do the analysis of the impact of a mass on a square cross section tube. This tutorial is made for the course instrumentation in the Department of Mechatronics and Mechanical Systems Engineering, University of São Paulo, by Larissa Driemeyer, Marcelo Alves, and Rafael Moura. We start with a standard explicit model where we are going to rename to impact of a mass. Okay, and we will create two parts. The first part is the tube itself, which we are going to call tube. is a 3D modeling, deformable shell structure extrusion. The size we are going to put 200D minus 3. Just this size is just to create the grids on the screen. We continue, then we create a square cross-section at any position, like this. Then you use the dimension tool to give the dimensions to the cross-section tool, say uh, 25 E minus 3 millimeters here, and on this side also 25 E minus 3. Okay, so we do, do this cross section done and the height of the tube say we do 100e minus 3 millimeters long okay that's the tube we created another part so this is part one tube we create another part which is the impact mass it's going to be a 3D rigid solid extrusion. The size could be that. Continue. Then we also create a square cross section for that, like this, dimension 2 here. Then we do this dimension a little bit larger than the cross section of the tube, say 30 millimeters e minus 3 and here also 30 e minus 3 okay done and the extrusion we can use 10 e minus 3 10 millimeters okay so we have created the two uh, elements that are going to compose our model and for the impact mass you are going to see that later it's going to be very helpful to have a reference point so we go on tools reference point and we create a reference point here on this reference point later we are going to apply the boundary some boundary conditions and initial conditions also it's important to go to this option select the, the impact mass and then we do that this is going to be useful for when we assemble the model assemble means to put the impact mass together with the tube as for the for the impact mass still we can go on engineering features inertia create one and associated this uh, inertia that we are going to create with this reference point done and we attributed a mass say of 10 kilos okay so that's done for the impact mass for the tube we we go to for the for the tube we create a section so a shell section homogeneous continue and then we are going to give the value of the cross section uh, of the thickness of the tube say one millimeter 
If I press OK, it's going to give an error because we need to define the material this section is made of, which I could do either here or pressing this button here. So I do here isotropic material that's going to be still. Uh, the properties for density are going to put 7777. For the mechanical properties, elasticity, elastic, I do say 209 gigapascal, 0.28 for the Poisson ratio. Uh, also for plasticity, plastic, yield stress of uh, 555 megapascals at a plastic strain of zero so I can add more uh, lines here but I uh, will work with a perfect plastic material so then that's it for the steel uh, that's okay now and then I will attribute this section I created to this tube which is going to change the color now when I attribute this section Degree. Uh, now I can go to assembly and then I do the assembly of the impact mass and the tube. I do out of set and then I can mesh on the instance or I can mesh on the part. So like this. Okay. Now, uh, you translate this impact mass to go on the top of the tube, but for that it's useful to create a datum. So then I can go here to move a little bit my model, like this. Use this option to move it down. And then I go on tools, and then I see datum, and then I created a point midway between two points, so I create a datum between this point here and this point here, it's created here and also I can create a datum uh, between uh, in the bottom of this impact mass say here so escape so in between here and here I created also a datum then I close here, then I will select the first point I want to move, this, and I move to here, this, oh sorry, I have to select first, translate, I have to select the instance to translate, done, then the start point and the end point. So that's okay to position the instance and then I see that's on the top but it would be better to put a bit higher to be more consistent with any experimental model I can do in the future. So I move a little bit. Now I created, I create also a datum, say between this point, escape. Let's create a datum here, tools, datum. Increase a little bit. So let's create a datum midway between this point and this point. So I created the datum. Okay. And then I translated now this mass, this instance from here to here. Okay. So then that's done. Uh, let's fit everything in on the screen okay and what I can do now is to let's we can go bit by bit here we did part property assembly step let's create a step let's close this menu step create step dynamic, explicit, continue, and then let's do the, a description, impact of a mass, impact 
of Hamas and let's do the analysis during two zero point one physical seconds that's done so next thing you have to do is interaction it's a bit more tricky now interaction let's create the interaction we are going to create three interactions the first one general uh, self-contact for the tube not to go inside its own so self-contact continue and then select the surface so let's move a little bit this way and uh, oh actually the impact mass should go a bit higher né? so let's try go back again assembly assembly here select this done one point move to this point okay uh, that's done now uh, interaction create self contact explicit in step one continue let's select now this done and first let's do the outside of the shell by choosing brown and I have to add the contact interaction property that I'm going to create here or like order or I could create also here so let's create here contact continue mechanical tangential behavior rough and that's it interaction property one created we are going now to create the interaction property two self contact again from the inside of the tube okay so let's move the tube a little bit escape select done let's get now the purple the interaction property one we are going to use okay and the last interaction create is um, surface surface to surface contact continue one surface is going to be this one done brown and the other surface we are going to choose by node region so let's move this a little bit like this do a zoom node region escape we are going to select pressing shift here 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 and here okay done finite sliding kinematic contact the same interaction property okay so so after the interaction we go here load the menu of load is where we find the boundary conditions let's put this everything on the screen boundary conditions we create uh, encastre continue let's choose the place where we want to put this clumped condition so it's going to be on the basis escape so it's going to be here shift with the mouse here here and here done anchor straight so it's clumped let's take the chance to impose some constraint for the rigid reference point or the impact mass is the same so let's create another boundary condition here in terms of displacement continue let's choose the reference point done so u1 0 u2 0 u3 on z direction we allow to move no rotations so okay 
And then a third and last boundary condition is the velocity of the impact mass. Velocity, continue. We choose the reference point, done. And the velocity V1, V2, a zero, V3, then we put, say, one meter per second. Okay. Now, after load comes mesh. We have two meshes to, the, to be to do. Uh, let's do on the assembly. Now let's do on the part. <clears throat> on the tube first. Let's do it. Oh, sorry, dismiss. We, we have to do on the assembly now. Let's do this. Select the part. Let's do first the impact mass. Then apply. Um, let's make a bit larger. <clears throat> Say 0.1 for the impact mass. Apply no 0.05. Apply. That should be okay. Okay. Uh, and then we do now the mesh. Select the part to be meshed. Done. That's okay. We are happy with that. Let's attribute now to this part the the elements. Let's move a little bit here. Yes, escape, uh, select the region, everything now, done, discrete, discrete rigid element, explicit, okay. Uh, now let's mesh the tube, so we go on. Uh, here, this, then, point, oh no, sub escape, select mesh, in assembly part, no, this is not going to be allowed, select the instance to be allowed. Okay, the global seeds, this one, then point oh five apply. Okay, that's mesh now. Part to be meshed is this one. Done. Okay. Uh, apply the element. Select the region to be assigned the elements. This one done. The elements going to be now explicit, linear, quadratic. These are shell elements. Okay. Boundary conditions are done. Mesh is done. Opt optimization we skip. Uh, the step has been created. So then we only need to go on job create impact of a mass is going to be our model we called impact continue okay and then the job has been created job impact we can submit okay we close this and then we submit it and after running we can do perform the analysis.